I'm Vismay, a cloud support engineer here at the AWS office in Bangalore, India. Sometimes customers ask me how to create a parameter in AWS System Manager Parameter Store within an AWS CloudFormation stack to export and import parameters from one stack to another. When we try to update an export variable that's being used in another stack, we encounter the error cannot update an export variable that it is in use by another stack. To overcome this limitation, we can use an SSM parameter to store the value that we want to use within another CloudFormation stack. When using an SSM parameter, there won't be any dependency between the two CloudFormation stacks because the variable is stored in the SSM parameter store. Let me show you how to implement this. I'm going to demonstrate the process of exporting availability zone of an instance from one stack to another using parameter store. As you can see, I'm already logged into the AWS Management Console. Let's go to the CloudFormation dashboard by going to the services and then CloudFormation. I've already launched a stack called test create parameter to create an instance and also create an SSM parameter with value as the availability zone of the instance created. Note that the name of the parameter to be created should always be unique. The type of this resource is AWS SSM parameter and the type of the parameter is string. You can see the second stack called test use parameter. This is using the parameter that was created by the previous stack. Note that to use this parameter, we declare a parameter within this second stack with type as AWS SSM parameter value string. If we read the documentation of CloudFormation parameters in the supported SSM parameter type section, we can see that CloudFormation supports the creation and use of multiple parameter types for our convenience. Let's go back to a previous tab that has the CloudFormation dashboard. Now let's update the availability zone in the first tag and see what happens. I'm going to select this tag test create parameters and then update. I'll choose next as I'll be using the current stack. I'll change the value of availability zone to US East to B and then choose next. I'll choose next again and then scroll down to preview your changes section. The instance will be replaced along with the modification to the SSM parameter. I'll choose update. You can see that the stack is updated without problem. Now I want the instance from my second stack to be launched in the same updated availability zone. So I'll select the stack test use parameter. Choose update. I'll choose next and then next. As you can see, my instance will be replaced. I'll go ahead and choose update. This launches a new instance in the availability zone where the other instance was launched. In this way, we can update the parameter that is in use by using SSM parameters. Thanks for watching and happy cloud computing from all of us here at AWS.